you're probably thinking, Chris, you're getting a little repetitive. Because uh, we're looking again at converting uh, spreadsheet files, uh, in this particular case, Microsoft spreadsheet files to CSV files in the shell. Uh, in, I've already done two videos on this, and I know some people are probably going to complain, but I, I just want to separate out, separate out these three different programs. First one we did was LibreOffice, then we did GNumeric. Now we're going to look at a program I haven't even tried yet, um, but it's in the repository, so we're going to go through the process of installing it and using it. Again, uh, converting spreadsheets to a plain text file such as a CSV is very useful, uh, so then you can script out grabbing information from those files. Uh, and two other options, you probably have LibreOffice or GNumeric installed on your system. Most people do uh, because you're going to have to work with spreadsheets at some point in a GUI uh, environment, and that is a, you know, two common things that are installed. So I figure, why install something when you already have something installed? But if you don't, or if you just want to go really lightweight, there is a command line only tool that's just for converting spreadsheets to uh, CSV. So first of all, let me list out here. Let me go ahead and remove uh, from the previous tutorials the CSV file. Now, I'm going to do sudo apt. Uh, actually, let's just do... I'm going to do aptitude search. Uh, it's just the package manager I'm using. Use whatever package manager you prefer. But there should be a program called XLSX2 CSV. Hit enter, and there you go. You can see it's right there. You can see it converts these files to CSV format. That's all it does. And you can see I don't have it installed yet. Otherwise, this would be an I. Uh, and now I'm going to just use sudo apt install and install this application. Type in my super secret password. And there you go. I mean, additional disk space, 72.7 kilobytes. Super duper small. So especially if you're going to want to run this on a server, this is definitely the way to go um, over the other formats. Although the other programs can convert multiple formats into multiple other formats. And again, you probably already have them installed. But if you're just looking to set something up just for doing this, this application is probably your best bet. Um, and so now it's installed. You might also ask, just someone's going to ask, why did I use aptitude and apt? I like the formatting when you're searching files that aptitude gives you. Everything's all on one line, and it's very easy to see whether it's installed or not. And then apt, I just feel I like the progress bar it gives you when you're installing it. So I just use two different applications. But whatever package manager you prefer. Now that that's installed, I should be able to type in um, xlsx to csv And I should be able to give it... Uh, our file format here. Of course, we want to give it our spreadsheet file. And if I do that, let's see what happens. Uh, I type something wrong. Yes, change that. Okay. It's saying this looks like a zip file. It's not supported. Uh, it looks like zip file or office or later not supported. Aha. So it's saying that the office file that I'm using, uh, the spreadsheet file, is too new of a format. So again, I've never used this program. And so now we're learning something together. Let me go ahead and say G numeric, and actually let me use, no, let's do G numeric. G numeric, I'll give it that file. And I will say, save as, and what format say here? I'll give it a uh, Microsoft Excel XP format, which doesn't have the X at the end. Uh, but let's see if it can do it here. Now, let's go ahead and try converting that file. There we go. Uh, and this is nice because it gives us, look, it, it put uh, quotation marks around uh, each of our fields, which is could be nice depending on what you're going for. Um, and also put it right to standard out. So with the other formats, uh, files using LibreOffice or uh, GNumeric, I don't know if there was a way to do standard out. So here, we didn't create a new file. Uh, I mean, we created a spreadsheet file. Uh, but if I have the spreadsheet file already, I can use this, and I don't have to create a CSV file. I'm just outputting that. So then I can use uh, FCF or grep. So I'll do this, and I'll say Jones, and I'll do Paula. There she is, and there's Paula's information. And I can put that into cut, dash D comma, dash F, uh, let's get her birthday, which I believe is field seven. So now let's just do Brown, uh, Sarah, oops, there we go. And I got Sarah's birthday. Uh, so that's super useful that it doesn't have to go into a file, but if you wanted to put it into a file, you can just redirect it. I can just redirect it with a greater than symbol into people.csv. 
And now I can cat out that file. I can use grep, whatever I want. Uh, let's go ahead and quickly look at the uh, man page for this. And you see you do have some options here on how things work. Uh, formats and I'm looking here real quick. Cell separator character. Default's going to be a, a C. So let's say I wanted to. <clears throat> so let's say one of these addresses had a comma in it. That's why the program puts uh, quotation marks around this. And when it comes to converting other formats, that's useful. But if I just wanted to use the cut command, those commas could throw me off. So, <coughs> sorry, excuse me, I'm getting over being sick. Um, if I wanted to, I should be able to, after reading that man file, C, and give it this pipe character, no, dash C, let's see. Again, I have not used this program. It says cell separated by default, C, so you'd think it would be this. Maybe, let me do, let me try something like this. Let's do period. Okay, that worked. It may just need to be a backslash pipe character. There we go. Uh, I like using the pipe character because that's not going to be in an address and most people aren't going to type that in there. So now I don't have to worry if there is a comma somewhere in one of those addresses. It's going to throw off my cut command. I can now uh, do this and I can say cut with a delimiter of pipe. And I can say field again seven if I want the birthday. And I'll have everyone's birthday, but of course I would want to grep before that or use fuzzy finder. Jones, Eric, and there's Eric Jones's birthday. Um, so again, that's the program we're looking at is uh, XLS to CSV. Uh, and I believe there's another program that is uh, up on GitHub, uh, which is originally what I heard of that has XLS X to CSV. Actually, what did I install? What if I do this? Does that work? Okay, no. That's, so that's, there is an application. So this particular program that's in the repositories for Debian is going to be up for older spreadsheet files. And if you're going to be doing this with just that format, this is a great option. It's super small, super lightweight, designed for the shell rather than being a GUI program that has a shell uh, interface. Um, again, it was what, 70 some kilobytes, so super small, but very limited on the file formats it can work with, where GNumeric and LibreOffice both uh, convert from and to many, many different formats. So it's just one of many options, but again, people use spreadsheets of all the time, especially Microsoft Excel spreadsheets, uh, and if they were smart, they would use uh, open document spreadsheets, but all these Office formats, which are useful if you're having fancy formatting, but if you just need the information to be able to convert it to plain text uh, and manipulate it that way is super duper useful. Uh, you can script out anything you want now. You can make your own GUI interface uh, that uses the shell as the back end. And uh, with this particular program, you can pipe the standard out and go right into, you don't even need to create a CSV file separately. Anyway, I do thank you for watching. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with the K. There is a link in the description. As always, I thank you for watching. Uh, check out my Patreon page. And I hope that you have a great day.